Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here with another Marvel News update. This time we're going to be talking about the Sony adjacent Marvel Universe. So during a new feature with Variety, one of the chiefs of Sony Television actually spoke about the company's future and, you know, what IP they're really looking at to develop more content from. And obviously the conversation got to Spider-Man. Now, with regards to Spider-Man specifically, he said, quote, we have the next seven or eight years laid out as to what we're going to do with that asset. And that will not only be on the film side, it'll be on the TV side. Our television group will have its own set of characters from within that universe that we will seek to develop. So right now, it means that Sony is basically combing through its more than 900 Spider-Man related characters to attach to its own Sony universe of Marvel characters. Continuing on from that, he did say that they are pretty far down the road in terms of working through which characters they think could be the star of their own television series. Series. So obviously this is pretty interesting news because up until now we've only heard about Sony wanting to develop a Spider-Man universe of films. We haven't actually heard them, you know, really talk about television. Uh, it was mentioned after Spider-Verse came out that perhaps some of those characters could get their own TV shows and, you know, animated series, especially a character like Spider-Ham. But it looks like they actually want to do live action stuff similar to Gotham or The Gifted or Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. where it's essentially taking something that is part of that idea. IP, but not actually having the title or character in it. So, you know, Gotham is pretty much Gotham City, but without Batman, The Gifted doesn't have the big all-star X-Men in it, and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't have the Avengers running around in it, but they all still kind of live in that same sort of world. So it actually could be really interesting to see what characters they decide to go with and how they tackle these different shows. We'll definitely be talking about the actual TV properties in another video because there is a lot to discuss and how the rights work and how they might actually have to work alongside Disney to make those happen. But in this video, we just want to touch on the fact that they actually have seven to eight years laid out as to what they want to do with the Spider-Man IP. And that's a pretty big far cry from what happened after the Amazing Spider-Man universe fell apart and Sony was scrambling to put together new plans for the Spider-Man character. And we all know how that turned out. They ended up having the infamous Spidey Summit and ultimately sharing the rights with Marvel Studios. Right now, we know that Morbius is currently filming in the UK. Craven the Hunter is still in the script stages, but it looks like that might be the next property they develop for live action. They also have Black Cat, Silver Sable, Nightwatch, Jackpot, and a bunch of other characters in development and obviously Venom 2 has already been dated for next October. But what are your guys thoughts on this news? The next eight or so years or whatever has been laid out for the Spider-Man character in live action. Post your thoughts down in the usual spot and for more updates on the Spider-Man universe of Marvel characters and everything pop culture, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.